we have never had so much to do in the Let's Go Trophy Hunting series, the addition of this brand new Texas Lodge gives incentive to not just hunt a couple of maps, but to hunt every map and try to improve what we have in here. So we talked about it on stream last week. Hirschfelden could actually be pretty interesting. So there's three main species I'm looking at. Fallow deer, we have this 171 up here, which is decent, but we could do a lot better. This wood grouse is only 6170. Tons of room for improvement there. They go over 7,000. And our red deer, it's a 275.9. It's not bad, but we shot it over six years ago over on Valdebois, and there's definitely room for improvement there. So those are the three main things I'm looking for, but there's plenty here on Hirschfelden from Canada geese to wild boar to roe deer and a whole bunch more. So we're going to head out and see if we can add any new Hirschfelden trophies to the Texas Lodge. And it looks like we'll be starting off our hunt today with a pretty average red deer stack, 130 to 160. And in this heavy rain, the wind is going to be a little bit stronger. So hopefully we can get the shot around 30 meters. That pushed it pretty far left. And ideally we would have checked the wind, but obviously he was already standing there. I should note though, given the fact that we just used the Flinter Bow, the creator items are now available in the store. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on that. So in the Hunter Classic store, all the creator items can now be purchased. I gotta think. That was a body shot? No, it's not. Must have just clipped the front of a lung. Lucked out there, but that saves us probably 10 minutes. And just as we approach our other stag, we've got one calling back there. So we'll go ahead and hit a call for that. Rain has stopped, so that probably gives us a better chance of dropping the next one. And this guy really didn't go that far. It was left lung and shoulder blade, 28 and a half meters and a 137 score. And finally, after going over a thousand meters before we encountered anything, two stags back to back here. Now the thing is there's something kind of scooting in from the right as well. That's not a bad looking stag. Now we have the 6.5 laser. And I'm kind of thinking we're just going to grab that. I can't quite see. Oh, that's, they're about the same size. 195, this is not ideal, but oh, okay, that was really lucky. He did a full 180 there. We attempted to pull the trigger at his right shoulder and shot him right through the left shoulder. Good deal. This estimate was five lower. I actually think this one might be bigger. He's 182. Lung, stomach, intestine. Well, we lucked out in terms of the wind not pushing our arrow too far and getting a body shot on the first tag. That was about 12 times luckier, getting that shot into anything as he took off to flee. So that's going to kind of spook things. Got a couple of tracks down here and one thing we did learn on our last fallow deer hunt is that hunting just the fields isn't going to produce as many fallows. So we're going to be in the forest a good bit today. We're still going to check the fields, but hopefully that gives us a chance at finding a good number of fallow deer as well. Now we do have a wood grouse out here, but it is like the lowest estimate I've ever seen. 3.1 to 5.5 kilo. And instead, there is a kind of decent roe deer buck, which is particularly wide set. 130 to 185. And I think again, because we're going to spook stuff anyway, we'll actually go with the 6.5, try to just get this guy out there in the field, and just get a little bonus kill as we go along. Now, our road here in the Trophy Lodge, I think, is 254. It's a pretty big one, but I would really like a rare road here buff for the Lodge. We've killed some in the past, but it's been so long ago, I'm not sure any have been since Trophy Lodges came out. So that's another thing to maybe look for as we're out here, and just a little quick bonus kill for now. Looking like maybe a 150. Not sure if that overall spread is going to help it at all. Double long 135 actually. Little lower than I thought. Maybe the spread actually doesn't impact it, but we're going to basically scoot through these fields and then up to this tent. That's been a good spot for fallow deer in the past, and then we'll probably try to get north of here. So we've got another wood grouse sneaking in that unfortunately also doesn't have a great estimate. I think we might actually pop this with the 22. He had called from over there on the left, or... Our hunter mate said it was on the left. Our tracking skill is not that high, so I had no idea. He had snuck into like 20 meters, and I think if we crouch up to shoot him, he probably would have taken off. When they first came out, this guy's actually not terrible at 5600, but when they first were released into the game, they were almost unspookable. You could stand there, you could get your shot lined up with a bow, take as much time as you need. Now they'll actually spook pretty easily, and I think we were better off just popping that. The 22 is still fairly silent. And anything like down by that tent, or for instance, that road here just behind us, wouldn't hurt the shot. We might just have to shoot this female fox. 
is kind of walking right to the base of our stand. And they will spook. You can actually see her looking around there. She was probably getting ready to take off. And there was a male fox call that we're trying to bring in. So hopefully he's not going to hear that. And we might actually go ahead and give another call just to make sure. And a fallow buck. That kind of changes things a little bit. I guess if the fox comes in quickly, we can still try to get it, but see if we can see that guy. And for whatever reason, that red fox didn't come in. On the plus side, we do have our fallow deer coming in, but that appears to be the only buck and is not exactly impressive. 30 to 105. A couple of those coming in with them, but I think that's going to be the one we take. I have no idea what that just was. That doe decided to run for a moment. Get into about 20, and again, despite the wind, at 20 meters we ought to be okay. Oh, there was a fourth one there. I think it was still a doe, and hopefully that shot's going to get a lung. I'm pretty sure it wasn't anything to do with the wind. I think it was just placement. Our fox, on the other hand, got through the neck, the liver, obviously hit the skull and shoulder blade, 14 scoring female. And let's actually see, did we get a vital hit on that fellow deer buck? It was right back here. We did not actually end up being intestine blood. I didn't think the shot was too far back. Maybe it was a little bit low. It just kind of clipped the bottom of the stomach. Either way, it'll get him down. Just got to track him through the rain a little bit. Well, there is one other option. And that would be just shoot him with the 6.5. Because he's walking around out there with that arrow in him. I think uh, for the sake of time here, we might as well try to do that. And getting more mileage out of the 6.5 today than I would have expected. But... That'll save us probably five minutes. But I would actually like to know what happened with that arrow placement. It was a stomach shot. Actually, so was the rifle shot. But 41 score. And I guess from the rifle, enough to bring him down. So if we just kind of lift this up, or even better, if I just put him in a pose where he's standing still, I guess it's that angle. I'm surprised we didn't get liver or back of the lungs. But either way, standing there out in the open where we can get him with the gun and not have to track him that entire time. And we can finally scoot north of the river here. Ooh. 1020 to 1220. On a wild boar out there. Now, the cool thing is, these guys can be made into skull mounts. And I think that might be what we end up doing with this guy. I think he's going to be maybe low 1000s. The tusks just don't look that big to me. He does have good weight, and weight does factor into the score of the pig species. But there was another one that actually called Up the Hill. And just in case we have insane luck, we might as well keep on calling, because he should be coming in. But that is definitely potential to go in the lodge. I mean, a thousand plus on that skull, man, I think that would look good. So finally, the other boar's coming in. That is very much not a special one. 410 to 600. And I think we get to use the 6.5 again on this guy. I mean, the tusks, as he gets closer, aren't too bad. But let's just kind of line this up. Make sure he's not going to move his head. And that's going to work just fine. So, for one, I guess there were a bunch more boar coming in behind him, like, just behind that tree. Because I never saw them that entire time. Right up until they fled. One was a male, I thought. Probably not that important as the one that we just got is bigger. Now, we did kill a 1200 plus right here on Hirschfeld. And I don't know if it was for a mission video or exactly what we were doing. But that one we've done a skull mount for. And I like the look of that, so I think another one in that lodge with all those positions for the, like, the small animals and skulls that you can place there, this should work pretty good. Obviously, a brain shot there at about 47 meters, 1028. Was he not 1020 minimum? I think either way, we will take that, we'll do the skull mount, and we'll take a quick photo. And go figure, all that time spent going after skull mounted elk in the last week or so, the first new addition to the Texas Lodge is going to be a wild boar skull. But I think that's going to look pretty good. And it's one of those things, like, you can put rabbits on those platforms and the skulls, obviously. And I'm, I guess other than ducks, there's no other options. So things that we don't hunt that much, having a boar skull on there is a really big help. Because there's a lot of space in that lodge for those things. No way. You are kidding me. There's a piebald wild boar out there. Those are fairly new. Now, this one's a female. So I'm not sure if we're going to actually try to get it in the lodge. We've got to be careful, too, because there's one right there. 
This feeder is entirely empty. However, when you have a feeder set up, you still will have boar, feral hogs, whatever you've got the feeder set up for, kind of strolling through every now and then. And that's exactly what's going on there. It's 200 meters out there. I'm kind of tempted to just try to get it because calling is sort of out of the question when we have this one right here. So I don't love the angle. Let's see if it kind of turns broadside for us. If it comes to it, we can probably just call and try to get this with the bow. But I don't mind trying to get it down quickly and going and taking a look at that. We've never had one. That's kind of turning broad, but I think this could work. It's about 200 meters, which is a little further than I'd like. Let's see if we can get that lined up. Oh, perfect. Dropping his tracks way out there. So, back to back, wild boar trophies here on Hirschfelden. Who would have thought? Pretty cool to finally get to see one. I remember when they came out, I filled this feeder and hunted over it time after time after time and just couldn't get one. There's the piebald hard shot at 224 meters. Some pretty absurd shots today, and we do have to tax it. It's just, we have to. We could do a skull, but I guess there's no visible teeth and it would remove the piebald side. I don't necessarily know that we'll put it in that main lodge, but especially given the fact that that lodge now exists, we have some more to do with the other lodges we already own, so definitely room for some kind of like, you know, didn't quite make the main lodge type of room there. Pretty cool. And there's a fairly considerable size difference too. This one I think was under 100 kilo. You could really tell that male was much, much bigger, but that is pretty sweet. We'll still look around and see like, you know, maybe where we could move stuff in that new lodge and at least for now potentially put it there because that was not something I expected to see. I just wanted to swing by the feeder specifically because you can get that thing where even though the feeder's empty, there'll still be some wild boar hanging around. Got a nice sized male and a piebald female out of that. Ooh, that's a big pheasant, 26 to 30. I was sneaking in here to actually check on the geese and we spooked them. I didn't see any huge geese though. That weight and score estimate is super, super good. And the best part about it, despite the fact that we're not carrying a shotgun today, the tent for the goose setup is right here, so we can go and get a shotgun. And should this be a really big one, we can try to get it out of the air. This is another kind of change to the Let's Go Trophy Hunt series. We were carrying specific loadouts because the way the lodges were before, there was only so much space for our weapons, and we would try to stick with weapons we could place in the lodge. There's so many gun mounts in the Texas Lodge, I feel like that's not as big a factor. So I'm more than willing to grab a shotgun here. We're just gonna sneak on in here. He should kinda hunker down because we're crouched. And we should be able to get in position and try to flush him. Now, just in case, they get the shotgun ready, because typically they would kinda hide by now, but he just did it. And we could whistle to try to flush him, but I think we'll just basically run over top of him to send him out of here. And we'll try to get him with the engraved Maisto. That's pretty much a perfect play. Man. That's gonna get him, and it should be out of the air. Now, anybody who's maybe not familiar with the Hunter Classic, for leaderboard pheasants, only ones that shot out of the air are going to count. And just in case this guy is really special, I wanted to make sure to do that. They're scored by their tail feather length. Looking pretty decent from here at least. Going to be a 2.7 kg weight and a 27.4 score actually. Ends up being lower than I would have wanted. 29 is like the absolute pinnacle of pheasant scores. So we're actually not going to tax this. This A in the score though does indicate that we got it out of the air. So. It was officially in the flying animation enough to not be counted as grounded. So, no geese out of here. A pretty decent pheasant. And what I think we'll do is just kind of scoot down around here through the fields and head back to the trophy lodge. Maybe we can manage one more kill. We've had three kind of interesting things in a row. But definitely where we're at now, a couple of potential additions. Oh my goodness. You are kidding me. I don't need a spotting scope to identify that. No way. So many hours. I've wanted a rare pheasant. I've never even had a rare head. That's an albino rooster. 22 to 25. Forget about 27 scoring decent sized common pheasants. Look at that. We gotta get him out of the air. We just have to. We have the shotgun already. Same deal. Just crouch towards him so he doesn't just flee in the distance. He should hunker down. This might be the most nervous I've ever been to make a shot because they can be a pain. If they get away, tracking them can be a problem. Now we can get our 
German sh short hair pointer on it. We can figure it out if it happens. But hopefully he just kind of hunkers down in the grass here and we can go and make the shot. I think he kind of knows we're here, so he should be hunkering down any second now. Shotgun ready in case he does not. I think that's what he's about to do. Oh no, he is going to flush. Good thing we're ready. That was odd. Got him. One shot. And an albino pheasant is down. What an absurd server this is. I can't believe it. Literally. Years and years and years of hunting Hirschfeld and Loggers Point just hoping to see this. And today's the day. Albino pheasant. Taking a long time to calculate that score. That's scaring me because we can't tax it. Just going to sit here a minute. Hopefully it works. It's not looking good. Been sitting here for like five minutes. Scores not calculating. I've tabbed in and out. I think that sometimes refreshes the game. Like if you're losing connection to a multiplayer server, sometimes that can fix it. And nothing's happening. So there is a chance we can tax it from our statistics page. We're just going to hope for that. We can trophy shot it. I don't imagine that had anything to do with it. I think when you trophy shot pheasants, typically they do that. So this will be immortalized forever. I thought there were pheasant trophy shot poses. Maybe we don't own them. We'll be able to do this if we do the right thing. But I'm not going to lie, we're going to take a long time on this, especially in case we can't tax it. But I'm going to feel semi-rushed to get to the stats page and find out, because, I mean, look at it. It's amazing looking. I've always, always wanted one. I think I'm pretty happy with that. It shows the tail feathers off really well. Shows, like, the wing feathers, the head, neck, all of that stuff. And in the lighting, I don't think we can do any better. So... I'm gonna accept this, I'm gonna let the trophy shot upload, I'm gonna hopefully give the servers time to process whatever maybe they can process and just cross all the fingers we can do it. It's a total shot in the dark. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The option to taxidermize is there. He's a 24.31 score. I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. Purchase complete. We have our albino pheasant. I literally didn't care about anything else. As soon as we got that taxidermized, we're headed straight in here, and just behind us is our new albino pheasant in the lodge. Can't be taken away from us now. 24.3. I always was just hoping it would be, frankly, I was going to say, better than 24 before that score just kind of got stuck in the calculating loop. It looked to be decent. They can score in the teens, so, you know, 29s being the pinnacle of a good pheasant, 24 is right there, you know, above average. So, Really, really happy with that. Can't believe we actually found it. And can't believe we actually got the tax it. The way that was looking, I was starting to get really, really worried. By the way, I just realized that's actually where that ended up. Our wild boar skull from today is just down here. There actually are skull platforms specifically. Now we could put it on the small platforms for like rabbits and stuff, but I think first we do actually want to fill these. So, whoa. Has that always been like that? We shot him in the... There's no way. We shot him in the head, and there's a bullet hole in the skull? I had no idea it worked like that. That is awesome. On one hand, could have, you know, not shot the skull so it didn't look like that, but I think that's really cool. I was completely unaware. That's how it worked. And then finally, our third trophy of today's hunt. I actually took down a small female silver-tipped red fox to place our piebald wild boar up here. We've got another silver tip fox, actually a pretty big male down on the lower level, so just one that we hadn't had before, and there are little tusks there, so nice to kind of display that on that full body platform. What an absurd hunt. Hirschfeld delivering some of the rarest trophies we've ever taken in the Hunter Classic, and just fortunately, everything worked out there with that taximization of the albino pheasant. That's our other wild boar skull now, by the way, you can see no bullet hole in the center of the skull. That is so awesome. I honestly, I have no idea how I was unaware that that worked like that. Something to definitely bear in mind when we go for other skull mounts. I wonder if elk do that. I think I know what we're doing next week when we come back for some more Let's Go Trophy hunting, but I just can't believe it. I cannot believe it went that well on Hurts. We'll have to come back one of these days, but I think elk and maybe attempted headshots could be in our near future. But anyway... That's going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.